So the flesh. Um, well, it it, it it was a really negative episode because <laughs> that's the title. See, negative part one. So, yeah, it's a, it's kind of a cliffhanger and shocking ending to uh, leave you on the edge of your seat till you get negative part two. Oh, boy, uh, so it, it is. Uh, a flash episode. I mean, you know, he's in it, and uh, there's uh, <laughs> there, there's action, uh, but a lot of it is continuing with their introduction of their new speedster, uh, and they give her her name, uh, uh, Fast Track, which uh, was a character. I don't know how old, not very, I imagine, uh, in the comics, and I I don't know if this is the complete story that. I don't know. Did she have a romance with Thawne or whatever? Maybe. I don't know. But uh, all, all you'll hear about her in any, uh, you know, pop culture sites or whatnot is uh, representation. And so that's, yeah, they're just going to stick her there in that superficial place. And that's all. But uh, so uh, she's still training with uh, the Flash uh, to, you know, learn her powers and all that. And fine, but it's just another setup to do the exact same damn conversation they've already had. You got this, girl. You can do this. You're amazing. You're already a hero. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm just a normal person. So then Bar uh, Flash takes his mask off and he's Barry Allen. What? Yeah, I'm just the guy, you know. Oh, then I can do it too. Yay. And, you know, oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, you know, uh, and I mean, the it, it, it's a scene they've just beaten to death for years now. Well, all these characters. And interestingly enough, the latest Superman episode, he has a moment of doubt because he's lost his powers in Lois. But they do it. So oh, much better. And it's kept to a minimum, so it doesn't drag down the episode. And uh, it's not something they go to all the time. Uh, certainly w w with the kids learning their, you know, well, right now, just one of them. But uh, learning his powers and all that stuff. But they, it's just so much more credible and performed so much better. Here, it's just slapped in. We got the shot. Let's move on. <laughs> it's just obvious what it is. And. Oh, God. Oh, boy. So, uh, that's the deal. And then uh, it turns out the real villains behind all of this, you thought it was uh, the Steel Force had turned bad. Uh, but no, he didn't. It's not him. It's his negative alternative. Because there's a negative force, so yeah, you, then there must be all these other negative, you know, negative speed force and a ne negative Steel Force and negative... I don't know. What's the other one? The emotion force. <laughs> it's just the whole dumb things of the gods of the force. It's just stupid. So uh, the other two show up and uh, join with, uh, you know, still force to fight them. And it's, oh God, it's just terrible. Remember, these guys are gods, but they, they hold their own against them. But they do mention they're weaker. And so they have to eliminate... They, it seems to show that they have to eliminate Thawne. So, Steel Force kills the Harrison Wells version of Thawne uh, right off the bat. Uh, prematurely ages him and within a few seconds and he turns into a corpse and collapses on the floor. Uh, then they go after the other Thawne, <laughs> who's the good Thawne, you know. And uh, But then, in order to help the Flash... Uh, Barry teaches, uh, what's her, uh, Nina's her name, but I mean her, uh, backtrack, no, uh, fast track, <laughs> fast track, to, um, share her speed powers with, uh, with, uh, the good Thawne. So th they do, and Barry gives him his costume, the, the original old reverse flash costume that he had, and all that stuff. By the way, uh, fast track suit. It's actually pretty good. I mean, of course, you know, she's a woman, so she looks really good at it. <laughs> Except the mask. But when she she didn't have the mask on for the most part, when she put it on, and I don't know, it's <laughs> kind of stupid. 
<laughs> but it's just what I'm talking about is the the texture and design of it is I they did a better job on it than the one the Flash is wearing. His is like it wrinkles and stuff and it, it, it looks slapped together. Weird. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Anyway, so of course she's successful. Uh, Thon gets his powers back, and you think, oh, oh he's going to turn into evil Thon. Well, not yet. So they team up. They help Barry, and uh, they fight the Force gods <laughs> to a standstill. Um, oh, and this is after they fought with the other idiots, uh, Chester, Allegra, and uh, uh, oh, C uh, Cecile. And uh, Cecile re revealed has more, has become more powerful than any other meta because now she can absorb other psychic powers, or not just absorb and take them, and all this sort of stuff. So I don't know. That came out of nowhere. Meanwhile, the mysterious, seemingly white-haired lady at the end of that episode wasn't uh, uh, Frost back from the dead. It was, uh, I can't remember her name. She's the blonde chick with mental powers. Anyway, that was the deal to explain that crap. And uh, so and then she steals more powers from another psychic criminal whom I've forgotten, but she's still in prison, but she visits her, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so anyway, she's she's on Team Flash to fight off the guys until the, the other Flashes get their act together, and uh, and they hold their own, I guess, <laughs> and then get beaten and seemingly zapped out of reality. I thought they were sent to you know the the Force dimension or whatever. Now they just zapped them out to the street. So, but again, the Force gods are are weak, and sacrifices have to be made. That's what they kept saying. So. They think they're there to kill Thawne, um, but they're not. Uh, Barry uh, builds up uh, his super-duper lightning uh, to, to blast them with the other two, Fast Track and Thawne, uh, holding them in place. And then he comes in, and at the last minute, suddenly Iris appears. Uh, because in the future, because, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, Nora and uh, uh, Bart... Or they're back at home in the future, and then their version of their mom disappears. But then, the uh, the younger 2022 version of their mother appears, and they oh no, it's her time sickness. And then when she realizes, uh, she keeps having these visions from the future or some crap, and she realizes oh no, uh, Thon's not the the sacrifice. And then when she realizes, she disappears reappears in front of the force gods and the flash accidentally zaps her with the force lightning seemingly killing her and he's like oh, no. you know and the force guys is like hey, hey, fooled you and then they disappear so uh apparently that was the setup they weren't after thon they were after uh iris so iris dies and then turns into a green mist again and disappears which kind of insinuates she's probably not dead but you know so anyway uh then all of a sudden thon starts uh convulsing in pain he's oh my god and she's like what's happening and barry's like uh i don't know and then he peels off his face and skin and then it's the the evil thon uh inside uh the remnants of the good thon and so uh fast track is like holy shit screaming and uh <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he, uh, what did he say? Uh, Thanks for the resurrection or something like that. That, uh, hey, it was all a part of the plan, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, I guess Barry's going to be upset about that. But we'll have to wait, <laughs> if you can stand it, <laughs> for negative part two. So... Some of this in better hands might have worked. I it's just too much slap together stuff. I, I even if it was it stayed in its point when it when the Flash was good. There's elements of this I just never liked. I didn't like the split personality narrative of Frost and all that. It's just too far removed from you know the comics and stuff. And then the the Force avatars and gods and all that. And then the speed force itself looking like his mother and, and like any of that. 
So there's, there's just nothing really to uh, cling to here. So anyway, there you go. The Flash. Negative. Part one. <laughs>